Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the transfer pricing. Um, so <clears throat> what is transfer pricing? Why we are using transfer pricing? So the purpose of using transfer pricing is suppose you have uh, two plants having separate two profit centers and whenever you send a material from plant A to plant B, uh, plant A want to charge a market profit from plant B. <clears throat> so this is used for their internal profitability reporting, internal department wise or profit center wise uh, profitability reporting. They, they want to charge this market price from the other profit center to which the material is being sent. So this is, uh, but this market profit or market, uh, the expense being paid by the uh, receiving profit center to sending profit center, all these should not get impacted to our legal reporting. So, the, so that, that, that requirement is being handled through transfer pricing. So we are going to explain here. So in this session, we will be explaining uh, how uh, once we have set up the complete transfer pricing configurations, when we do a stock transfer, how the accounting entry will look like in, in the planned or profit center. Um, if you take up uh, a, a report using uh, your profit center valuation view, how your report look like and if you take a uh, legal reporting uh, then uh, how the report look like uh, so th that's what we are going to show here i mean the accounting perspective how uh, transfer pricing will uh, will help the business so that will be showing here but in the next session we will uh, in the next video we will explain what are the uh, configuration we should do to make this setup okay let us start so let's take an example. We have a material um, which is having a standard cost. And that means uh, the standard price in the legal view, which is 10 rupees. So we are transferring this material from plant 1710 to plant 1711. Okay. So these two plants having separate profit center with a markup price of 2 rupees per material. That means whenever uh, a material transfer from uh, 1710 to 1711. Uh, 1710 should get 2 rupees profit from 1711. So that is the condition is. So in, in the profit center valuation uh, view, the standard cost should be 10 rupees in 1710 uh, plant uh, in the profit center valuation view. But in the profit center valuation view of uh, st standard cost profit center valuation view in 1711 is 11 rupees. So I will talk about this valuation views everything in the next video because uh, once you have the legal valuation, uh, profit center valuation uh, or group valuation, everything activated. If, when you take accounting view of your material master, you can see the standard costing in, the, in these three views legal views, uh, group view, and group valuation view, and personal valuation view. So we'll explain more about that in the next video. So in, in this example, uh, once I have done the standard costing run for legal valuation view and profit center valuation view, standard cost is completed for this particular material. 1710 in the profit center valuation view is 10 rupees and profit center valuation view 1711 is 11 rupees. Okay. Now, in the setting, uh, now we are done a transfer, transfer posting. Um, material transfer from 1710, one, one, this is one, uh, to 1711. So <clears throat> our inventory is getting moved from 1710 so that your um, uh, um, inventory is getting credited in 1710 so that, that you can see 10 rupees of code credited in the inventory account. But in the same time, in the profit center valuation view, you can see inventory have got debited with 11 rupees because uh, provision valuation view here you can see 1711 is 11 rupees so uh, you can see this so you can see this accounting entry in in the sap system when you take uh, you will see fp03 screen which by default shows 
uh, the uh, legal view where you can see once do a stock transfer you will see two line items which is you will see a credit from the uh, inventory of 10 rupees and debit to inventory of uh, 10 rupees in the receiving plant but when you take uh, once transfer pricing is activated then you take uh, the in the in the currency point of view you have to change the currency to uh, central valuation view or group valuation view then you will be able to see the complete accounting entry where you can see all these entries okay so in this case uh, once uh, stock transfer is done in the central valuation view you can see 10 rupees is credited 11 rupees is debited in one spend one month now you can see a revenue profit center internal revenue account have got uh, credited because we have two rupees extra uh, we have set up as a market price uh, in the in the background configuration so what system does is 10 plus 2 12 um, on top of standard price two rupees will be charged so total 12 rupees will be received as a revenue from uh, 1711 so the same uh, have got uh, uh, debited here uh, delivery from uh, profit center account uh, that got, got debited here and uh, here we have 10 rupees stock change because um, we have sent entry of uh, 10 uh, to to other uh, plant so a stock change has got debited of 10 in the same way here profit and uh, stock change have got uh, debited for 12 rupees uh, okay because we have paid 12 to uh, this plant um, then this one rupees is because of here inventory value is valued at 11 rupees to adjust uh, with this 12 one rupee will be debited inventory gain <coughs> sorry uh, inventory uh, gain inventory transfer account okay so so here if you see if you take uh, if you select a particular profit center if you take a particular profit center for the reporting one if you take the profit center 1710 uh, profit center for the profitability reporting you will see only these values if you take uh, filter with 1711 you will see only these values but if you uh, take uh, if you remove all these uh, profit centers from the filter and you take the report uh, on the uh, legal view then you will see the the report will not reflect any of this uh, internal revenue or internal expenses between two profit centers. It will knocked out to uh, zero. Debit and credit uh, will uh, uh, will be equal. Right here, you can see forty six balance here also with forty six. So you can see. So th this is the way. So it, it shows that there is no impact of uh, uh, markup price have got impacted to your legal reporting. So this is the way. Uh, transfer pricing will help you for uh, your internal uh, profitability or, or internal uh, profit center wise reporting uh, or internal uh, um, uh, you know uh, capture the internal uh, markup price uh, uh, profit can be uh, departmental wise profit uh, profit can be uh, get from the other uh, department and uh, department wise profitability can be reported but at the same time uh, it will not impact your um, uh, legal reporting as well so this is the this is the this is the way um, uh, transfer pricing help you in your business so I uh, hope you have understood this. Um, uh, if you have, have any questions, you can ask comment uh, under this video. I can reply to this. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe um, in the next uh, so that you will get notified with my next video. And in the next video, I will be explaining what are the configurations required to set up the transfer pricing. Thank you so much. Um, see you on next video. Thanks.